What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to get editable text from images in multiple different ways. The easiest is using online websites, then a free tool, and of course the third method that I'll be showing you is using Microsoft Word. Note that Microsoft OneNote also has some pretty good OCR, optical character recognition, for handwritten notes, so if you own Microsoft Office, you may want to look into that as well, though that's out of the scope of this video. So to begin, obviously we'll need an image with some text in order to convert it to editable text. I'll simply take my About tab over here, I'll use my screenshot tool to drag around the description box over here, and it's now been saved onto my PC. I'll put it on my desktop here. There we go. Of course, we can't edit this text as well, it's an image, but we want to convert all of this here to text without having to write it out manually. How do we do this? Well, the absolute easiest way is to Google search for image OCR. Then using one of the thousands of links here, you can choose your file format. Mine's not a PDF. It's an image, so I'll click this link here and maybe a couple of others. Note that OCR isn't perfect and of course will be full of errors. So you may need to try different websites, but you definitely will need to double check what you've copied out of your image as you will need to make manual changes. So here I'll choose a file, select it off my desktop and preview then OCR, and you should see the text reflected down here. In this case, it seemed to do pretty much perfectly. I can take this text here, copy it out, and use it in any other program that I'd like, edit it, etc, etc. So that worked really well, and of course there's thousands of websites that'll do this exact same thing, and of course if you get limited on one and ask to pay, just go across to the next website. Super simple. What's the other easy way? Well, in my case, it's using a free program called ShareX. This is my preferred screenshotting software. Essentially, you can take screenshots, video recordings, GIFs, etc. directly on your PC, and it'll store them all directly on your PC among thousands of other little features and tools. By far, this is the best way of taking screenshots as you own the screenshots that you take. They're not uploaded somewhere and, of course, kept on the internet forever, even after you delete them. For me, I can download it here. You'll find it linked in the description down below. And all we need to do is open it up and follow through with the installation as usual. You can see I already have mine installed, so I'll cancel it here, and I'll open up ShareX via my start bar. Of course, there's a few screenshots here, and of course, if you've taken a screenshot using the software, you'll see it reflect here. But in my case, I'll head across to Tools, then OCR, and we can take a screenshot of what's on our screen right now. We can also drag an image into the program, then right-click it, and choose OCR Image. This way, it'll pop up and immediately we can see the text here. It's also pretty accurate. And of course, we can choose a different language here. Currently only English, UK and US. I think there's a way to add more. Yep, they have a guide here linked on their website showing you how to do this. And of course, we can choose different services here, such as Translate, Search Images, Bing, DuckDuckGo and DeepL. But that's for translating, as far as I understand. Open service link. There we go. There's my text. English to English. Of course, that's that. Super simple. On top of this, you'll also find a text file next to the actual image itself containing all of the text from the image. Awesome. So for now, I'll delete the text and we'll go across to the third method using Microsoft Word. I'll open up Word and I'll make a new plank document. This method is a bit more advanced as it allows you to keep images and things like that from the image if you screenshotted, say, an email. There we go. I've now simply dragged my image into Microsoft Word here. All we need to do is File and choose either Save As on the left-hand side or Save As Adobe PDF. Whatever you choose, we'll need to save it as a PDF somewhere. So for me, I'll choose Save As, and from the drop-down over here, I'll simply look for and click PDF. I'll give it a name, such as, say, Test. I'll choose a place to save it, so I think Browse, then My Desktop and Save. Then all we need to do is drag this new .pdf file back into Word. When we do so, we'll see a pop-up saying we can convert it to an editable document. I'll click OK here, and shortly after, a new Word document should open up, and it's done its best at converting the image into text. And of course, there's odd images left over here. For some reason, it thought these were pictures in the text from this image over here. Overall, it did a really good job, especially if we take a screenshot of a web page. We'll have all of the images and things like that spaced out pretty much as they were, except now they're all editable. Awesome. So that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!